So, um, I've just done a tutorial on this eye look. Um, I have a wedding on Saturday that I wanted to practice this look for, which I feel like I'm pretty set. I think I've done a pretty good job. Um, my inspiration, I'll share that with you, was this picture here. So this was my inspiration. Oh, that's Maddie, not my inspiration. This was my inspiration, can you see? And then that's what I've come up with. Oh, I don't think I did too bad. I like it. So I'm gonna do my face. So I'm gonna prime with my um, Glorious Face Primer. Uh, this is our old packaging because the, 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 the pots last so long. Um, I'm still on my old packet. Um, even though I have bought a new one, I just am using up what's left in that. Part my lips, part my brows. Actually, whilst I'm doing it, I think I might do a dark brow. Where's my dark brow? I need faithful. I need faithful. That is it. Nope. There it is. So I'm going to do a splurge brow, just because I think that's quite a dram dramatic brow. But I'm going to start off with using my foundation. Um, this is my Mineral Touch foundation, Nanny Liquid foundation. I'm going to be using that because I think as um, a bridal look, it's such a fantastic coverage that it's really flawless so I'm just gonna get my brush again I'm using a coastal sense brush brush number three it's like a flat head brush so I'm gonna sort of pick up some of the foundation drop one two three drops like so on my foundation brush okay and then I'm gonna dot that around and buff that in. I'm staying quite away from my eyes because I'm going to conceal so it's just going to cover that as well. And always bring it down your neck so that you haven't got like that horrible <laughs> line. Making sure you pack up for it everywhere. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to be using concealers. I'm going to be using the colours um, Charmeuse, which is two shades darker than my foundation. And I'm going to be using... Um, Organza, which is two shades lighter than my foundation. So using a foundation brush, I am, uh, not a foundation brush, a concealer brush. I'm gonna pop it on the back of my hand just because I prefer to do that. Um, and I'm literally using about the size of a grain of rice. So I'm gonna put that in a fan under my eye and like a triangle I'm going to put that over my cupid's bow in the areas around my mouth a bit on my chin and then whatever is left I'm going to go up and I've got quite a big forehead so I'm not going to put too much on here but yeah okay I'm gonna go in again I'm gonna go over on the back of my hand not so much of this one this is the darker shade and I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go from my ear Okay, I'm going to go a little bit 
under my lip. What that does is give you an appearance of a fuller lip. Not that I need it so much, but it's just to show you. I'm going to pop some up here. This will bring the length of my forehead down. I'm just going to... that in a little bit just a little bit okay I don't really need to go under my jaw and make it more angular I don't want to do that okay so I'm going to get my beauty blender I'm going to use my smallest one which really badly needs cleaning and I'm going to dampen it with our rose water I mean dampen it like I had no clue about that before so okay I'm going to go in with the lighter shades first and I'm going to be sort of bouncing See how much lighter my eye looks? So I can go back and touch the makeup up, it's not a problem. And also what that's done, that concealer, it has tidied up my eye look. It's made it look crisper and sharper. And all we do with our eyes is we just get that little brush that we were using before. No extra product, but we can sort of go along our eye look again just to bring that eye out yeah make sense so i'm not actually adding any more product i'm just sort of smoking that out what i've already got and connecting them up so that now that they connect and I look oh, I love it sometimes I shock myself <laughs> like I love it it's brilliant so again I'm going to just tidy that up excellent sort of want a little bit more underneath that eye that this eye And then I'm just going to carry on. Blending, blending, blending. Let's get started on this now. So pushing that up. To really hollow out my cheeks and bring some definition into my face. But I want it to be blended. I don't want it to be like... Go around. Do you know what I mean? Don't forget the nose. 
Okay, so when you're happy with your blending, you can set that. So using a setting powder, so I'm using our concealer powder in the shade Fresh, and um, again in the lid, it's just where it goes. And I'm getting my setting brush. I'm just going to pat that and pop that under my eye. Be quite generous. I'm going to pop a bit here. We'll give some definition. Cool. And then I'm going to let that go on whilst I do my brows. Okay, so I've decided to go for a um, gel brow, like a, not a gel brow, such um, a blood shadow brow. So I'm going to be using the colour Faithful which is a nice colour. I'm going to use an angled brush. This is my Real Techniques eyeliner brush, which is quite like that. Um, and I just always work it in either on the lid, on, in this case I'm using the back of my hand. Um, so darkening my brows underneath. I always start underneath. I don't know whether that's correct. That's just what I prefer. Um, and I can go back into my hand and get some more product. And I just follow my brow and its natural shape. And then I'm going to pop a bit more on and get the top sorted out. And then where it's lighter at the front, I'm not picking up any more product. I'm just working with what's already on my brush. And I'm almost pushing it into the hairs to, to continue their naturalness. That is my brow. So again, working underneath, following that natural shape. Picking up more when I need it. Working on my shape to I'm happy. And then just using that brush and so like downwards motions to just find the shape of the bottom. So I'm just gonna pop bit of a line there and make that bit crisper. That's better. So there's my brows. Brows did. Okay, I'm going to brush off that um, setting powder. So I'm going to use my big fluffy brush because it works better. So it's important if you're doing like a bridal makeup that you um, don't use a foundation with any SPF in um, because that will give you sort of like a flash off of um, light from your light. Okay, so I'm going to bronze and I'm going to um, blush and then I'm pretty much done. Set it. Set it. Okay, so I'm going to use my Malibu bronzer. Um, I'm going to use this sort of angled brush. And I'm going from my ears and I'm um, and what a blush does is that sort of 
warms up that contour colour. And then as well, I'm going to, because I don't want a harsh line, I'm actually going to then sort of really buff that out. And I'm sort of bringing it up. So I don't want you to be able to see like a like a that line. Crayon on the other side. See, it's sort of giving me more cheekbones. I'm not really blessed with cheekbones. Well, obviously I've got cheekbones, but they're not. They're not proper there. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this blush because it's the one I picked up. Probably wouldn't be the one that I would use on the bride because it would probably scare the crap out of her, but... It's just the one I picked up. So one tap, look, one tap. And then using my setting powder, uh, I'm going to use my Tapta press powder for that. I'm just going to go over everything that I've done, including my brows, just to set them in place. And then I'm going to finish off with some lip scrub. And I like to uh, like rub that off with my finger. Okay. Because I feel, sorry, because I feel that I can really work the dead skin off. And I really suffer with skin like that. Okay. And I'm going to use our Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sentimental. Which is this gorgeous tone, like a purpley tone. But... It goes so well on so many skin types. I actually think that this is a shade for everyone, which is probably why it's in the presenter's kit because it does literally go with everyone. So I'm not going to use that because I'm going to pick up my lip brush and blend that in.
And if you're anything like me, like the world's worst at applying <laughs> lipstick, I'm gonna go in with my concealer again, just a tiny little bit and tidy that up. So this is a matte li liquid lipstick. And what it does is it dries as a, um, as a matte finish, but you could give it time to dry. That's it. So you've got your eyes, your lips, you can do that. And then it won't go on your teeth. I really feel like it's a hair down look. Hair down look. How would you do the bridal hair? Tell me something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to work on that one. Done. Or whatever. Done. Thanks for joining me.